Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about why it's extremely important to start learning BIM today. And it does not matter if you are just a first year architecture student or if you're an experienced architect. It's extremely important to start learning BIM as soon as possible. Let's start with students first. Now, if you're third year or higher, I don't really think you have any reason to not be learning Revit at this point. You can always find the time. But let's say you're a first year student just getting started. I'm going to explain why I believe that it's very beneficial for you to start learning BIM as soon as possible. Now, I know first year can be quite chaotic and you don't know what you're doing and it is going to be hard. And when you're starting to learn any BIM program like Revit, for example, it can seem quite rigid, especially when you're trying to play around with architectural concepts that carry some wild shapes with them. But if you push through the confusion, it can be very beneficial for you because BIM, or you're basically working with a 3D model and you're building it kind of the same way that the building would be built in real life. You're kind of placing elements on top of each other. So it can help you understand the whole building method and the whole technical part of the profession. Also, when you're just getting started with architecture, it's quite hard to understand the correlation between 3D space and 2D floor plan. And when you're working with BIM and 3D models and BIM where you're taking the sections and floor plans out of your 3D model, it can actually help you understand the correlation between that 3D space and 2D plans. And one more thing, BIM actually pushes you to be better. It pushes you to solve all problems because when you're just taking out floor plans and sections out of a general 3D building or 3D model, you kind of have to solve all the problems that you have in this building. Unlike when you're working with your AutoCAD and you're doing kind of 2D drafting and then you can kind of conveniently place a section in the simplest part of the building and when you're finished the section kind of usually doesn't really match with the floor plan but the professor usually just cares about the concept and is too lazy to check all the necessary technical stuff. Okay, that covers first year students, but you might be thinking, if you're at a university, why should you e even bother at all to learn the BIM? It will significantly cut down on your parting time and time you have for scrolling endlessly through Facebook. Well, the stuff you learn at the university basically has no resemblance to the work of an architect in real life. So when you're finished with school, you have zero work experience and you basically know nothing. So how can you become more competitive on the job market or if you're just looking for an internship? Well, use your strengths. You are a millennial. You were born in front of the computer. It's a lot easier for you to learn BIM than it is for an older architect. And some firms might think it's a bit more efficient to, uh, to hire a BIM proficient student or a worker, even though they have no work experience, even though it might take a bit more time to learn everything and learn the profession at first, over kind of hiring just an older architect that doesn't know BIM. So, by learning BIM at the university, you become a lot more employable. Okay, with students out of the way, let's talk about actual architects. So, let's say you're an architect with a secure job and your boss isn't pressuring you into learning BIM. Why should you even bother? Well, unless you're near retirement or you're just a star architect like Frank Gehry and you can actually pay people to model in some BIM software the piece of paper you just crumpled, well, then you need to keep up with the technological compounding. This graph shows the acceleration of technological development over the years. And by learning BIM, you will ensure that you're keeping up with it and that you don't get left behind. BIM is basically just the first step for you to understand the technology that is yet to come. With new smart plugins like Dynamo for Revit or Grasshopper for Rhinoceros, we're kind of slowly moving from the phase where we're just modeling architecture into the phase where we're actually programming it. One AutoCAD worker replaced five traditional draftsmen and one BIM user replaced 10 AutoCAD workers. And that basically means that one architect slash programmer will replace 10 regular BIM users. Now, technology is amazing and it shouldn't be feared, but for it to be utilized, we have to learn it. 
Some programming companies actually encourage employees to spend at least five hours every week just researching and learning new technologies. Maybe we should learn from those companies. BIM is an industry that's growing at an astonishing pace of 20% annually. And as more governments realize the awesome power of BIM, it will soon be quite impossible to build anything without a complete BIM model. So be smart, think ahead, and you will prosper with the technology that is yet to come. Okay, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like this video, and share it with a friend that's, that doesn't really understand the power of BIM and the importance of it. So, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow.